Right, in this video, we're going to talk about a really cool little product. Uh, this thing is uh, it's called a Motino. This is what it looks like. Uh, more information can be found at uh, www.motino.com. It's made by Low Power Labs. And really what this is, it's, uh, it's an Arduino clone uh, that's got wireless built into it. Uh, it is available without the wireless, even cheaper, but uh, the really cool thing is when you include the wireless here. And it uses one of these RFM12B transceiver modules that operates at uh, with a license-free bands at 433 or 915 megahertz here in the U.S. and Australia, and 868 megahertz in Europe. Uh, so uh, again, it's a you know kind of a Arduino clone type of product, and uh, the other side of this here has got the RFM12B module on it. You kind of see how that's solder right to the back of the board. It's kind of that second small board sitting on top of the main board there. But uh, really neat little product um, and uh, you know, lots of uh, really cool features. It's compatible with other um, Arduino clones that include the RF12, RFM12B modules like the G nodes that are out there. It is available with uh, you know some flash memory on there that can be used either for data logging or uh, uh, program storage and the bootloader can actually uh, recognize it if you've got code on there and reflash the chip and that kind of thing. It's a pretty cool thing. But um, So these I've got uh, loaded on here a couple of sketches that actually were put on there by the guys at Low Power Labs uh, and uh, uh, I'll show you a little bit about how this thing works. So I'm just going to set this one down here and uh, hook it up to power. So I'll just uh, hook up uh, my power supply to this here, flip the power supply on, all right, and now this guy is uh, is transmitting here on this little blue wire antenna it's going into the antenna here in the analyzer. We'll go look at what it's doing in the moment, but uh, you can see kind of the little flash of the LED there it tells us this is a uh, go ahead and transmitting data, and it's transmitting over to a second one I've got sitting right here, and this one is hooked up through the FTDI interface to this little uh, USB Bub two. Uh, you know, FTDI to RS-232 converter board. This one happens to be from uh, Modern Devices. I can get that to focus there right or not. I don't know. But uh, neat little board. And that's going over to my laptop over here. And uh, actually what we can see with the serial monitor, this is the data that's being sent by that little remote node. Okay, it's uh, sending just a, you know, a sequentially longer um, you know, ASCII string. And then every third uh, transmission or so, there's an ACK that goes back and forth between uh, the two nodes. So you can kind of see that in the uh, serial monitor here. And uh, so it's just kind of showing that I've got you know, some wireless activity going on between these two guys. And just to take a look at what's going on with them, I've got them hooked up to uh, my Tech uh, MDO 4000 uh, mixed, mixed Domain Oscilloscope. So I've got the RF signals coming into the antenna here. And then uh, on channel 1, I'm probing the uh, RS-232 line on the, uh, the interface. Uh, so we're capturing all that onto, uh, on the scope. And what I've captured here is a couple things. Down here at the bottom is the, uh, the spectrum of the signal. So we can see it's kind of centered right at uh, 434.02 megahertz. I'm looking at a span of 2 megahertz here. And looking at the spectrum, the two peaks here, kind of indicate that we've got a, a binary FSK modulation, which is what uh, this thing uses. Uh, up on the scope screen, I've got uh, channel 1, which is uh, the yellow trace here, is the RS-232 interface. We can actually see data going through here. And uh, the purple trace down here, it says RS-232, that's actually the bus decode of that. So we can actually see the data that was sent and then the, um, the act that was sent. This trace down here that says A, that's the RF amplitude versus time. So this is showing when the transmitter from that node turned on. Okay, sent its data, turned off. This lower power one is coming from you know, the gateway node here. That's the acknowledgement that's getting sent back. So the, the modulation is a frequency shift keying. And this trace here is showing the FSK, so frequency deviation versus time for both of these things. And a lot of this will be easier to see if we zoom in. So if I uh, just hit the uh, zoom button here to zoom in a little bit. Uh, so now what we're doing is we're looking at you know a, a smaller portion of that signal here, zooming in onto down here. So it's, it's pretty easy to see that uh, 
know, there's my, my rising edge of uh, the RF coming up. All right. Now, if we look at the spectrum right during this very first part, it looks like we're just doing a quick kind of almost like a synchronization in the FSK. You can see what the spectrum looks like at that point in time. And then as we start sending data, let's kind of walk over. Now we're looking at the spectrum, you know, over at this point in time. So we get more of the what you'd expect to see of, a, of an FSK transmission. So this thing runs through the entire transmission here, okay. And when the transmit that transmission stops, then the uh, the RS232 data gets sent from the Arduino across the RS232, and uh, we can see. Uh, the actual data that's being sent there. So in this case, we just caught it when it was sending one, two, three, and A, B, C, D, E. All right. And then the acknowledgement got sent back, and we can see the FSK of that acknowledgement. And then this is the decoded from that acknowledgement. I can go in here and uh, let's turn the packets off on this, and I can, then we can actually see the actual data that's sent, kind of lined right up with uh, the data, the data packets. We zoom in on that a little bit more actually see the what, what the actually ASCII codes are within the RS-232 here and then in the uh, acknowledgement going back you can actually see all the uh, the codes you know, built right in there but just a pretty cool little product and uh, I thought you might be interested in seeing it if you're messing around with microcontrollers and you want to do some wireless sensing maybe some for environmental data collection or remote remote monitoring of uh, you know water level and the uh, some pump hole or whatever you might want to do with uh, remote or even some robotics. Really nice way to go for uh, some low power uh, wireless connectivity. So anyway, give it a try. Uh, Motino.com by Low Power Labs. Uh, great support from these guys uh, and uh, I look forward to uh, putting these guys to some useful use and uh, I hope you enjoyed the video. Thanks again for watching.